Let's go. So, we are, uh, I am currently at home in uh, isolation. So I am not in the body content, uh, body science content studio, but as always, Team Rocket. Uh, week 16, boys, we had week, week 15, uh, we had the blog form because I was unable to get into the office as I still am today, but I should be right this time next week. Um, Jimmy, we'll start off with you. Chalet got up as your best. So uh, apart from that, mate, well, it was a bit of a rough week, but it was nice to get your best up. Yeah, it was. So she was, um, did you watch that race, Skip? Sorry no, I missed that one, mate. No, no, no. Ah. It was, I was watching oh, the footy. I think, I think the footy had started on Saturday Arvo by the time that race had come on. Yeah, yeah, it had. Um, so, so she clocked the the second fastest, the second fastest um six hundred of the meeting, which is crazy because she got out with like, oh, it was less than two. It was about two hundred meters to go. She actually got clear air and she brained the clock on the final two hundred meters of the day. Ran the quickest by far, and. Yeah, geez, she was huge to get up and win. She drifted out a little to 350 or whatever, which was expected. Yep. She had some good early support. But um, yeah, she'll be you'll you'll be able to follow her second up out to 1400. And um, they'll keep her on the fresh side because she does her best fresh. And then yeah, her win was just phenomenal to to do what she did was just insane, man. No one thought she was getting there. Yeah, it was way. literally hard yeah. out of the yard. James is like, she's getting there. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, she <laughs> let down. No, no, she let down. down. And I could but tell from his voice. I'm like, you know, she's not getting there. I knew she was going to get there. <laughs> He's like, she was getting there. Like, oh. He actually surprised was, himself at the end. It was as good as sex, Skip. It was fucking sensational. <laughs> Lasted as long, too, it says. <laughs> Speaking of lasting long, you're multi, Jess, and you, you hit last week in the NFL, mate. I fucking hit a beauty. Yeah. I was so with it. So I woke up at 6, 6.30. So I already had saw that the three previous games had got up. And um, I was fucking shook. Arizona nearly, they were down at one stage, I think. Yeah, they were down. Um, but they ended up having a se strong second half. And then I had the Broncos-Jets game to, re re uh, to rely on. And fuck, that was like 10-0. Oh, behave, calf. Sorry, got fucking kitty cat, calf, misbehaving back there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, like the Jets were never going to score against that Broncos D. So that multi was fucking, that was huge. Yes. 800, $860 or something. But yeah. You've, um, look, just, just bets aside, like, I reckon, Jess, if you'd just, if we'd just purely done sports bets, <laughs> You'd be fucking. Yeah. I mean, you'd be in. You're definitely in the plus. Like the horses have been I, okay yeah. for you. You had a couple of good weeks, but your sports bets have been unreal. It's my sports that have carried me big time. Well, there's not much fucking logic behind going. Oh, be one of first try scorer off fifteen minutes. Hey, there's, no, no, harder, not, there's no logic it, behind that. Uh, it's just a fucking. You've never yeah. done it because I like to put my mind to the test and pick something. Look at it, it. Look at the end of the day, too, though, Jim. It doesn't really matter how you come up with it. It's like, like no one cares about how we how we come up with winners. They only want the winners. So in saying that, Jess, you're I'm a uh, yeah. And I'm surprised you, know, you you you've stayed with the NFL bets, but um, I thought I thought you might have gone back just for one last hurrah in the grand final BYO. <laughs> No, I thought I'd stick with something a little bit of knowledge around. So it worked last week, so we'll go again. But I almost right. got my horse bets up as well. My best bet yeah, flew. Did you get a cut? You got you got like two or three seconds, didn't you? Yeah, my best bet flew home for second, and then Namali was a good thing beaten because it had to work so hard to get a spot. But we got her second at like two dollars thirty. So we did too. Sorry, I missed that one. We got that at a place as well. Yeah, so it was a pretty, pretty good week. Actually, yeah, probably good. Week. <laughs> yeah it was Still profitable for us big. in the kitty for sure. Um, all right, well, let's move on to your best work for this week, then, boys. And I don't know if you noticed, the skips jumped in for chuck the best in this week. I, like it. Yeah, I was meant I to like message it. you about that. Yeah, so you might as well kick us off then. Yeah, I'll get. Yeah, right, I'll kick us off, boys. Um, incentivize. You know, I'm. You know, I've been high on this horse. I got tipped into it a long time ago. 
I think this is this this could be a real statement uh, race for it. It's going obviously up against very elegant. Um, I just think this I think this horse is going to be you know probably the horses horse of the spring, and I'm excited to see. Um, I, I think it's only going to get better as it goes further. As I said, probably a couple of weeks ago, when we had it, uh, we had it in the head to head. Would yeah. Jess, you had it in the head to head to head at, at the sixteen hundred. We we get to two thousand. I think it's going to get even better once it gets to the mile and a half. So, um, but I just think it sends a statement with this boys, and I'm excited about this one. I'm going to have a pretty decent play on incentivize. I'm very interested to see how he responds once very elegant um, picks up nearby. He'll if be, he does, he'll be in. He'll be in front. He'll lead this up, Skip. There's no speed. Yeah. So she's gonna him. she's gonna have to chase him down. And if, I, I yeah, just if think, elegant gets close, I want to see how incentive. See how he reacts. Yeah. Especially because this time around he shouldn't get wrong footed. Yeah. So um yeah, I'm actually really excited to watch yeah, that. Race. Watch the late market skip. That'll give a big idea. If those odds switch with elegant and um incentivize if the big punters come before the race, that well, is that yeah, that's what big... that's why I'm happy to get on now. And at, at, at the time it's 280. I think it'll come in. I reckon they'll be pretty even. I reckon they might be about 230, 240 a pop each by the time they yeah. jump. Because there's not much, di- like ratings, ratings wise, uh, very elegant hasn't ran her peak rating in a while, and incentivize is still on the on the up sort of thing. And she she very elegant was good in a win last start, but she got everything go away, pissed down on the day. So I, I when I seen the odds, I was surprised incentivize wasn't like closer to tied favorite sort of thing. Yep, I agree, mate. That's why I'm having a play on it, and that's why I declared a best for. First time in a, in a long time. So where are you? Where are you boys going, though, Jim? So I'm doing all my work at Randwick this week, and I'm going to the last race at Randwick in a, a horse called Gravina. Um, he's a he's a gun little horse. So I mentioned after his first up run, which was two weeks ago on the Bias Randwick track, I mentioned to Hub Titties and me brother. I said follow Gravina second up. Yeah. Markets went up. Markets went up. Gravina opened up seven bucks. He's now into fucking three bucks. So he's been really? absolutely. Wow. And, and if we get, be yeah, if we get any rain on the day and the tracks a soft five towards the end of the day, that'll only suit the horse even better. Yeah. But um, have yeah, you had a look at the uh, the have you had a look at the weather already? Eight yeah. So it says Overnight, there's not much though. not much rain coming, but it's it's today where there could be a little bit of rain. But even okay. if it's a good track, like because this horse it's had still some good serious, enough. Yeah, it had some serious ability um early, are they? And then went for a long spell after injury, was good last prep. But um, yeah, 52 and a half kilos, Rachel King on board. <clears throat> just she's need a uh, dominant rider. I love a little bit of Rachel King late in the day, too. Yeah, she's she's, she's one a, of those jockeys that just fights uh, no matter what, like every, yeah. every race. It, you know, like she's not the best jockey, but she's gonna give you a her best every yeah yeah every time she rides so yeah i reckon she lands heaps handy just stalking the speed there and with with no weight on her back like i i don't think big parade can carry the 61 and beat him um you got a fair few horses resuming or second up into their prep as well but i just think based on upside gravina gravina has them covered on the weekend and I'm not sure if we do get rain, the odds come down even more because four goes on a soft track, three wins in a uh, third, and the third yeah, was last. Up. Up. Yeah, yep. and on a bias as Randwick track. So I've that, I've got a bit of a trend with my bets this week. It's horses that ran on well two weeks ago at Randwick. Yep. And um, against the bias track, which that's will give us give us that's why I reckon Gravina went up sevens because yep. he he the one first up but yeah it's a little trend I've followed this week with my my upcoming bets but yeah I reckon here's a lock to on the get out stakes here's a yep. lock for us week. beautiful all right uh, Jess originally you had Zoo Tory in the fourth at Flemington but you've flipped and gone against him late so I flipped the switch because um I think it could be a heavy track. Are they predicting heavy? Soft six, soft seven. Oh, well, they're predicting a bit of water on the track um, at Flemington. And Zutori definitely has a better dry track record. And um, 
so I had to go off him and I followed a horse called Kem Kemal Pasa. Kemal Pasa. Yeah. So it's in race four at Flemington. Uh Kemal Pasa at 470. Um, there's already been a bit of money for him. He does have good straight experience. And if the rain does happen to come, that's kind of more of a, a positive. And two preps back, um, he ran up against Utori and just got pipped late. In this race. Um, yeah, who's in this race? I mean, no, it was in this race. Oh, it was in the same race. Same yeah, race same year. race last year. Yeah. Um, but it's Utori like a kilo. two or a kilo. kilo I thought a two, but a kilo or two better from that race and considering first up um, he carried 62 kilos and he drops to 59 second up. Um, nice little drop eight three yeah, kilos. Yeah. And again, with the straight track experience, I think um, he could be up front and take some catching throughout. Yeah. Lovely so it's a tough little race, but um, with away game and splint text, both going up like two to three kilos as well. Yeah, it kind of looks like on paper, in my opinion, it looks like Kemal Pass's race to lose. Lovely. All right. What about your value? Jess, you keep keep rolling because you've got uh I am Superman in the six at odds. We've um so this is a horse I, I've always followed first and second up, and it it always does its best work first and second up. So I've got a bit of a soft spot for him. That's I am Superman in race six, six. six at Randwick. So he opened up at, what do you open up at? Like 30? Yeah, but it's because of the scratchings. Oh, 34s. Oh, he's in the 21s now anyway. But um, things that interested me in this is that um, J-Mac, my man J-Mac. Yeah, I've seen J-Mac was on it. I tried chasing up with um, one of the OGs, So Sunny, um, if he knew why J-Mac had gone off lost and running and Huey jumped on board, but yep. he was also unaware of the move. And um, yeah, Kieran McAvoy usually rides Superman and he's not on board. So yeah, there was just too many queries into this race that um, had me leaning towards that Superman could be ready for this. So he's been gelded as well, returns gelded. He did have a good trial behind um, Classique Legend, who, as we all know, is a fucking classy horse of his own. Yep. Um, Lost and Run also was that. And I, I watched the trial last night and they did not um, did not ask much of him. And it was a pretty solid trial. My only query is if the 1200 is too short and they're just trying to blow some cobwebs out for it to get him fire and second up. Yep. But it just like I said, there's too many things that have me questioning, like, why is he here? And I think with the amount of speed on paper, he should be able to sit probably two or three pairs back and stalk it. And I'm hoping, Mars Crusade is the class, but I'm hoping Crusader gets too far back and Superman returning with the gelding job um, won't have as much ground to make up. And I'm hoping that can um, switch him on and fire him off to a good start. Yeah, lovely. We have plenty of pluses there. What about you, Jim? You're going to, you're staying at Randwick, but a little bit later in the day. Yeah, so Randwick race nine in the Metro. So this is a horse I have a very, very soft spot for. Like me and one of my mates, Peeps, we've followed her for since her, um, since she's debuted and stuff. So um, it's not a massive value play, but I'll go on Montefelia. Just right. at those odds, six dollar, like she's favorite at the moment at six bucks, but She's just an absolute gun. And if we get the rain as well, that's only going to enhance her chances. But even if it's like a good four, soft five, like I'll still be confident. So she was huge last start against um, She's Ideal. They come yeah. out of the same race, which I think is the form race to follow. And um, we'll get a good tempo in this race. Like she was never going to win. She was in the worst part of the going but she still attacked the line well, finished 1.3 lengths off. Um, she's ideal. The weight swings a big tick. Um, we'll get the tempo we need up front. And you got a, a couple of horses down in the weights there, but I just, I don't think they're at her level. And um, she hasn't won at the 2400, but she has been absolutely butchered in like some of the races where she's gone out to that trip. And, so in the derby when she was a three three year old, uh, in the Philly uh, Oaks, sorry, when she was a three year old, she was posted a bit wide, and yeah, Huey absolutely slaughtered her there. And then she tackled the boys in the derby 
um, in the autumn carnival and she was good against the boys. And then she went again in the, the um, Oaks against the girls, but the track that day was like a good, good three borderline good two. And she needs a bit of give in the track. So she was forgive there. So third up this weekend, um, we get good tempo. Huey drops her back and just watch her flying down the middle lanes. And yeah, come that stage of the day, I reckon that's where they'll want to be. And um, So no butcher job from Huey this week. Oh, he's fucking, he's absolutely, he's had his butcher jobs on Wednesday. He blew a couple of fucking certainties. So I reckon he's in for a big weekend. He owes the punters big time, the bastard. He's capable of those ones too. Like sometimes when you give up on Huey and then he'll have a day where you, you'll go, he'll, he'll ride four or five of the best and you're just like, yeah. and, 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 you, and, you, and you don't back him too as the day goes on because you're like, you know when jockeys do have those days and you're like, all right, he's already, they've, they've already won a couple. I'll start looking, yeah. you, you, you look to somewhere else and, and they just keep winning. So let's hope he can uh, get that up for us, boys. But let's roll on to the head-to-head-to-head. To head to head. Uh, the tab Epsom we're going, boys. And Tommy He's Berry's fine. back. Tommy, Tommy Tom was back Berry. yesterday. Um, I'll, I'll kick us off, boys. I'm going Mawanga just purely for the fact that, you know, it always gives me a good sight. You know, I, I, love, I love backing horses that, one that they've either won for me or even if I've lost, like I've been in it and uh, it's just a horse that's always going to be there about. So me and the, me and the pres have already been talking about chucking a little multi on together. I've got yeah. incentivized for a win and I've got mine for a place. So we're going to, we're going to go two legs each and a multi. And I think that's pretty safe boys. I'm pretty confident that mine will be in there at the finish, whether it wins or not. Um, I'm not too sure because it's a, another tough race for it, but I think it'll be thereabouts at the end fighting it out yeah 100 he's thereabouts he's 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 got the class on these horses it's just the weight that might get the pinch of him late but i reckon your place bets your place bets safe as their skip. 250 250 a place yeah that's that's fucking that's jam i reckon all right um, where are you going jim i'll yeah. kick us off so i was very this was going to be my value play of the weekend so i i looked at the two big races and I knew you were going to pick this or the Turnbull Stakes. So I had my horses picked fucking Tuesday. And then um, I've gone with Hungry Heart. And um, yeah, so she's, I, I love this horse, but she's just, she needs a dry track and a dry track only. And um, she's coming out of the George Main last start where she, she could not get a toe in the ground at all. And she was coming out wide down the middle, which was the shit going. And um, one of the few horses that made ground. Yeah, she, yeah, one of the few horses who've made ground in that race, and she does nothing in a wet track. So, if we're a good four come um, race time, Chris Waller is an absolute wizard at this type of stuff. Like, he places his horses fucking perfect, and he's placed her perfect here. We just need, just need the dry track. And, um, She's the one that I want to be on with 52 kilos on her back, just absolutely storming home down the outside. And yeah, I just love the way Wallace placed her for this third up. I reckon she peaks. You sound like you agree, Jess, because in the uh, group chat, you, this is another one that you, you probably would have liked, but you've, where are you going yeah. if you can't have hang, Hungry Heart? So I'm also a fan of Hungry, but... um. A horse that I think, so I'm hoping for a wet track here or at least a soft track. Um, I'm riding Ice Bath, who's fourth up. Last year, I think he was in this race. Was it last year? Mm. Oh, but anyway, um, fourth up, this horse looks like it's ready to peak for this. And I can honestly see our three horses all coming from the same spot and Whoever's the best one on the day will be winning. And um, whoever gets the, is, just a softer ride, eh? Yeah, whoever gets the better ride out of our three, because we're all drawn relatively close to each other as well. But um, yeah, I think our three will be flying home. And if there is a bit of give in the track, like Ice Buff was huge last start as well, making the big ground. Um, it's yeah, always there about Ice Buff. It's one of those horses, yeah, eh? It's a super consistent horse. So, um, yeah, I expect definitely expect a top four finish from him, but um, yeah. her sorry, but um, again, it's just a matter of who gets the better run from having to go back, like hoping not to get posted too wide. But it will be a very good race. So, 
Yeah, we've taken on the favourite Riedini here, boys. But, yeah, I'm pretty confident that one of us might be able to knock it off. Yeah, yeah, and, um, I'm definitely confident. If like any this, yeah. degenerates have a little box trifecta with our three horses, I will recommend chucking in Skylab down the bottom there with okay. 50 and a half kilos. So if any of the degenerates go a trifecta with our three, definitely chuck in Skylab in your we'll multiple. Chuck, chuck it in your quaddy numbers, eh? Yeah, definitely yeah. in the quaddy numbers. If there's any rain at all on the day, he is an absolute swimmer. And him and your your boy Mwanga, they had had a good battle last prep as three year olds and fifty and a half kilos on Skylab's back. Yeah, he was he was almost going to be my pick, but yeah, I reckon he's he's a quaddy blowout there, Skylab. I like that. I like that. We'll chuck yeah. that in the quaddy then. I'll make sure me and Prez have that in our quaddy. All right, boys, yeah. moving yeah. on. The NFL has just started. The Bengals versus the Jags, as we're doing this. Well, I don't mind James Robinson in this game, boys, too. So I've had a little lick on James Robinson anytime touchdown score. I think the Bengals are going to win the game, though. But where he's going, yeah. he's, he's staying in the NFL for this week, boys. Jess, you, you kick us off because you I'll, saw it last week. You know, since, yeah, since I'm a winner here. But this week, I'm going for same same strategy, just picking um alternate handicaps. Yep. I'm going the Titans against the Jets. Was it the yep. Jets? Yeah. Uh, Titans against the Jets, negative nine and a half. If Denver can win by 20 plus, I can't see why the Titans, who are um, still gelling as a team, I can't see why they don't win by more than 10. I think um, Julio I, Jones and AJ Brown. Well, I think AJ Brown's definitely out, but Julio Jones is 50 50 for that too. So I'm, I'm going to have a play on. Um, Derek Henry and that boy, so I'm about to do rookie in the vet with Jacko. Yeah, I, like I, th- I think he could score two or three. Yeah, well, either way, with those two receivers out, um, the Jets are woeful. Yeah, they're, you know, in the mo- most kindest way possible, they're terrible. So yeah. the defense is just out on the field too much too because they're just yeah. turning the ball over, turning the ball over and shit. Um, I did a little safe play on the Saints negative two and a half. Um. Just because they fucked me in week two. <laughs> famous la- famous last words. Safe play on the Saints. <laughs> on famous Jameis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jameis fucking better be eating a dub this week. Mm. Um, Chiefs negative six and a half. And that was against... I haven't got it written down. Who was the Chiefs against? Yeah, I've got it here. Um, where are we? Ch- Chiefs are playing the Eagles. Yeah, so Philly have been pretty woeful themselves. Like Dallas touched them up. So I, I'm pretty confident. Chiefs have been back to back losses for the Chiefs. Yeah, they're not they're losing like three straight. Like I reckon they're going to just a have a little game. bit of a Super Bowl hangover. And then I can expect, I'm expecting them to win eight to 10 straight soon. So I've taken In- them to negative six and a half. I'll, I'll bet on that that they don't win eight to 10 straight. You don't reckon? No way. Well, I'm not. Te- teams are learning how to beat them. That's yeah, the it's, anyway. it's, it's tough in the NFL. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Jeff. What about last week? Boys? <laughs> I, was in a, I was in a tipping comp and I, I went 15 from 16. That's the only game I got wrong. I had the, uh, <laughs> yeah, had the Chiefs over the Chiefs. My so. future MVP, Justin <laughs> Herbert. <Yeah. laughs> um, right. I've gone your Packers, yep. negative against two and a half against the Steelers. So, Still has been pretty shit. I'm like, are they going to turn it around slightly? But yeah. Green Bay at home, I think they touch them up. Yep. Bills negative six and a half. Yep, they're and, against the Texans. Yeah, and the Texans are so depleted. Um, that should be an easy cover. And then the Bucks, I think TB and the Bucks are going to storm in the field. They're they're gonna, do a number. Brady will be revving them up saying, fuck these cunts, like, let's go. He's a spiteful yeah. cunt, Brady. He'll, he'll want to do a number on the <laughs> yeah, page. Here we go. Yeah. I'll be showing yeah. Belichick his boss. So, so. They're, 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 that's part of my... They're, they're my only bet that's, um, that I've got a minus to start in uh, Rookie in the Vet as well. I, I think I think I got minus seven at ninety. I think they could at least easily win by 14. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Easily, they, right. yeah. My combined odds for that, sorry, 1426. Yeah. All well, right. That's what it. about you, Jim? So I've got a couple of the same games as Jesse. So I've got the Titans with they're all alternate lines as well. Hey, if you can't beat them, Jazzy, <laughs> join them. That's fucking got, Jimmy's strategy this week. 
It's come from the guy who asked me, what do you think of this game? What do you think of that game? No way. <laughs> um, so I got the Titans negative six and a half against the Jets, even with the outs that you mentioned. Yeah, just their defense will be too good. Jets. Jets could struggle to beat fucking an NRL team if they put it together at the moment. <laughs> they, the Mudders team take them yeah, out. Mudders United. Oh, to fuck do it. <laughs> With 13 people to play. We'll, like take, down, we'll take down anyone. Mudders. Mudders yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so this, this one I think could be a sneaky game of the round in the surprising Carolina Panthers and the uh, Dallas Cowboys who are... Um, Panthers some, are big odds because... Um, McCaffrey. McCaffrey's gone for a couple of weeks. Yeah, McCaffrey's out, but they're yeah. still I just they're still a good defense. They're still a team. yeah, gun defensive team, but I've gone the Cowboys negative two and a half there. Really Cowboys. Yeah. You're Cowboys, born. Cowboys are surprising. <laughs> hey, what did I say in week one? When are the Cowboys due to fucking start playing well? They 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 should almost be undefeated. They should they they could have beat should have beat the Bucks. Yeah, but they didn't. They oh, won yeah, well. That was the Beat the yep. Chargers on the road, and then they fucking dusted up Philly last week. So I reckon Skip Bayless will be getting his "How about them Cowboys" going again because they get the they get a dub this week. Yep. And um, I've gone famous Jameis against the woeful Giants, which could be a scare game. But yeah, it is a scary stuff. game. That that's a scary game for me, boys. That one. Yeah, the, the they're just a, a, a desperate Giants team that own three. Like they yep. do have some talent on that. So that's the one game that scares me. But um, these boys have been at, on fire in these. If it was at New York, maybe I think yeah. they could turn something I, on. But... I just got the feeling the Saints are going to be fucked to get a read on all year. Yeah, like, true. Possibly. Yeah, so I they'll, agree. They'll win a game. You'll be like, oh, maybe they are a chance. But then, they'll yeah, they'll put in average performances. But hopefully they at least win by seven for us there. And then, yeah, my homeboy to blow out fucking Philly on the road. I, I was going to go 14 plus on that game. And um, then my boy, my boy Brady to get the Bucks home at Lambeau Field with negative six and a half as well. And um, yeah, as we said earlier, the, the Bucks will be up for that. I reckon it'll be close early and then the Bucks defense will step up in the second half. They picked up Richard Sherman, which he'll be a great, like he's not a starting corner like he's not a number one corner anymore, not like he but... used to be yeah but he'll be he'll be perfect for them oh he'll be he'll be perfect sure. so yeah, yeah he brings like he's got a winner's mo- not that they need it anymore but he's got yeah winner's mindset like good work ethic and it's just shit, what so. Le- lebron james does in the in the nba like that's what brady's doing now he's just getting yeah. veterans that know how to win they don't have to play it's like antonio brown he doesn't have to be the guy but you know a couple of plays a game he might score yep. you the odd t- touchdown, he, a big third down. And with, with Sherman, he's probably going to come on in big situations. It's not going to rattle him, especially at the back yep. end of the year when when it matters. So that's a, that's why they brought Sherman in. Yeah, and he's and they've got a lot of young corners that can learn, like even the safeties and the corners, yeah. they're all fucking young. So they'll learn a lot from like... The they're all two or three-year players, yeah. Yeah, so... That's that's my sports multi for this week, and that that's at a whopping thirteen dollars sixty. But um, if any time t- touchdown scorer in that match, Gronk gets one tutty, and I hope yeah. he gets two. He's getting the two tutties going, but um, Gronk is uh, that he'll be a lock. I reckon him in and the Brady reason. they'll be working. Right, up Brady want to get him one. Thing. Yeah, and now that we'll be seeing the Gronk slam back at Lambeau Field for sure. All right, boys. Well, I'm going to stay with the GF where the skipper did his best work. Uh, I was looking at the markets for for the Clive Churchill and a guy that, you know, touches the ball as much as any and he's probably going to have as big a workload as anyone in the game. Uh, I'm going Isaiah Yell. I think it might be a real close defensive uh, game. So, therefore, I'm happy to go one of the, the forwards and I got Isaiah Yell at $13 for Clive Churchill. Um, Nate, Nate Cleary and Cody Walker are deserved favourites for, for the game and, and they'll go a long way to decide in the game but I think this could be a bit of a Ford's defensive battle and um, I'm willing to take the guy that's probably going to be you know him, him, him or Karen, Cameron Murray depending on who wins um, the game I think like I, I think the 13s are going to have a big big say in this game so um, I've gone as I yell boys and and that's us. That's plenty, eh? Let's uh, let's get and go and watch the Jags and Bengals game. 
Sounds good, Skip. I'll go and rest my Thanks, lads.